Well, hello there, you two. And welcome to a, another kind of a fog misty morning. Um, about, I don't know, 10 o'clock last night, it got down to like 55. And uh, it's still 55. It never changed through the whole night. I see little starlings flying all over the place. They came in around the, that little vent thing on the top of the barn. That was pretty cool. But uh, today would have been my dad's 84th birthday. Holy moly. Man, that's not old. These days, that's not old. And, um, man, it's been, it's been 13 years since we lost him. There's no way that much time has gone by. But anyway, let's not get in a funk over that. Let's be happy. It's, it's uh, my dad's 84th birthday. So uh, happy birthday, Pops. I know things are going well up there. You and Mom hanging out together again. All is good. But uh, anyway, in uh, my world, I got to go to work. So let's enjoy this beautiful kind of fall-like weather and drive to work. 60 degrees here in Vancouver. And as you can see, we've got that same kind of a foggy mist thing going on. Yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mama, we've reached hump day. How about that? We have. Yeah. Yes. Halfway there. Reach that point, but start sliding towards the weekend mm -hmm. again. <laughs> well, Mama, have yourself a wonderful Wednesday. You too. It's starting off very peaceful. Hopefully it, it stays that way. It's like a blanket and take a nap. Moment. Yeah, cuddle up and just yeah. snooze a little bit. <laughs> All right, Mama. Love you. See you. Bye. I love you. Bye bye now. Bye. I don't think this was ever meant to come back out of this spider. As you can see, I still had to fight it out of there. One of the worst things is that they have a different, the Pittman arm, you can see there's an insert inside that. And that is what runs the, um, the steering angle sensor it's that d-shaped thing well when they come out of the box it does not have that little d-shaped insert so hopefully i can get that out but the biggest trick is is you have to use a, a puller to pull that pitman arm off of that shaft how am i not going to damage the end of this thing i mean granite this thing's probably never going back to BRP. It's not a warranty thing or anything. Anything or anything. <laughs> but um, that's a much upgraded steering angle sensor than what they used to have. Used to have this little magnet that you screwed in that was very easy to break. So I need to get that little insert out. I wasn't aware that they had changed that when I ordered this. I should have looked to see if that was there. I didn't see anything like that. Maybe that's with the uh, uh, steering angle sensor. But that thing's on there tight. I got this old KTM puller that I use that reaches in there. But, yeah, different different type shaft. So I'll find, see if I can find a, uh, some kind of a, I don't want to use the one. I have it. Well, I guess I have a new one. I can use this one. Maybe I can get a socket that's uh, one step too small and use that as my base to eke it off. But it's got a long ways to go to come off of there. We'll see. But I'm here to tell you. <laughs> that thing did not want to come out of there. And I did just what it says to lure, uh, remove or loosen that lower a-arm so that it can all swing out and still the radiator gets in the way so i had to dislodge that and flex it forward this is the curb scooper pipe that gets broke that I tell you guys about and it usually breaks it right over there but anyway get them parts swapped the pitman arm is my biggest thing and I'm going to see, because that Pittman arm was in the way a lot, <clears throat> excuse me, see if it's possible to put that thing back on with it in the, in the bike. I don't know if that's possible. We'll see. All right. All right, so a little break 
from the uh, dynamic power steering job on one spider and a quick diagnosis on another spider she's a uh, this is the one you remember a while back when you stood on the lateral support you you hear a clunk well I tighten the uh, the three bolts that hold the lateral support or not the lateral support but the uh, the floorboard on the left hand side and uh, that was it didn't make any more noise well now she's complaining of noises from the left hand side and um, she still feels that it's a brake scraping sound but anyway I she goes it's noticeable when you take a left-hand turn well every time I take a left-hand turn I'd hear a clunk like and I'd feel it under the floorboard so I'll pull all the bodywork off the left-hand side to gain access to that lateral support and I uh, found some bolts that were less than optimal as far as being torqued down so I got all that torqued down and um, pulled the pulled both wheels off and uh, unclipped and slid out the pads. There's no weird debris in the pads. There's no scratching on the uh, on, on the rotors. But anyway, went through all that. There's, I mean, the brake pads are and disc looking fantastic. I don't know. Oops, I meant to hit the uh, joystick. Everything looks good. But uh, that lateral support, uh, with my weight on it anyway, I could make it clunk, and I could feel it clunk. Well, yeah, it was, it was, uh, it was enough that, you know, because there's a lot of torque on that floorboard, and um, that's the only thing I found wrong. Brakes, everything looks good. No codes. I mean, it's one happy spider, as far as I can tell. <laughs> Oh, is it beautiful out here? Temperatures, oh yeah, the spider says what it really is. It's 72 out here right now. That gummit. Yeah, just go on out there. And it's the locals that'll get you every time. I'm telling you. <laughs> these things are quite nice actually so I wish I could hear what she's hearing but if you ride these things and you have you know your your hearing's good enough you actually hear the those those metal pads sliding through the rotors for, for quite well actually you always hear them it just never really goes away but uh, most people don't hear them. And then, you know, I ride these so often that it's just like a normal sound, so I have to tell myself to look for it. Let's see if we can uh, make sure there's no traffic around here. I can hear it trying to, trying to lift the tire slightly. <laughs> Here the uh, you know the inside the tire like scratching at the road. You think she's riding that aggressive? Maybe maybe she's a hot rodder. <laughs> she's such a nice gal. Spider people tend to be nice people anyway. I think that seems like I've come across a couple of spider people that were less than nice, but the they're just not spider people. Oh, it's the markings on the tire. I can see something coming around. It's just like the uh, design on the sidewall. <laughs> I'm like, whoa, what is that? Huh, imagine that, the right side has the same thing. Oh no, 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 no. How far is that going? Just one little short spot. 
Oh, no, it's not either. All right, I got to get off of this. Worst thing ever on a spider is a tarred and feathered road. Spider's going, quit being so rough on me. I'm just trying to figure out what the sound is. But she distinctly describes it as a scratching sound like a brake pads. They're in fantastic shape, I can tell you that. Wheel bearings good, you know. Suspension, ball joints, all that stuff. I mean, it only has 7,000 miles on it. Lovely, lovely. Lovely, lovely speeder. Oh, you know, if we find the right speed, you might hear this one whistle because it still has the original sprocket. I haven't heard my lovely whistle sound in a while. Inner sprocket's in good shape, even though it's not the white, non-whistling sprocket. It's, it's amazing how many people go, why am I bringing this thing in? Now we need to check for stuff. And people, you know, see stuff on the forums. What are they talking about this whistle? If you don't hear it, don't worry about it. It's nothing. Enjoy your spider. Just people crying about stuff. <laughs> something smell. I don't know if it's coming from these houses or something. It's like a floral. Almost like a, uh, what do you call it? Fertilizer kind of smell. It smells really good. Or maybe the spider just smells that good. <laughs> oh no, it's definitely in the air. God, it seems like it's been forever. I've been stuck with things that are no rides, you know. The rides are coming. It's just, uh, <laughs> gotta finish things up. The police bike. You know, I take it for a ride, but I don't, I don't even put a camera on, so I don't even know if I can do that. I got some music, I gotta shut down. It always amazes pe me with people with cars and their windows down, rocking out, and uh, and also people with motorcycles that do that. It's like you're like assuming I want to hear your music. What if I'm not interested in what you're playing at all? This could be fun, because he's probably coming into our store. Wish I could hear exactly what she's hearing. Or uh, that lateral support thing was making so much noise, but not a scratching sound. I hate that feeling when, you know, I don't hear what they're describing. And you're left wondering, you know. But I mean, I thoroughly went over anything that could make, especially with the brakes, and she's convinced it's the brakes. And she's probably just hearing the brakes. But usually if it's enough that somebody's complaining about it, it's, it's a substantial noise. But I absolutely cannot find that. chit-chat with her some more. I tried to make her make some noise. Looking at everything. Making, whoops, that was not reversed. The best thing is go, you go, yeah, I heard just what you're, exactly what you're talking about. I found it. 
I probably got the brakes probably smelling now because uh, I was on her a little bit here and there. Oh, I got my hat up front too. Alrighty. Well, thanks for coming along for a quick rip on on a 20, I think it's a 2020 RT Limited. How about that? Alright. The new DPS is in there. How about that? It's got some nuts and bolts to tighten and button everything up. I still need to do an alignment on it. And it needs tires and a belt. And uh, I think one of the other techs are going to do that. And he was their original one on this job. So that's after that. Let's roll out of here. It's about that time. Well, hello there, YouTube. It's 59 degrees out here. It's cold. It's not even 6.30 yet. I think it's Ugh. probably about 6.30 now. But yeah, I was just telling Kelly, I said, it won't be long. We won't be able to even make it home. No. And say a goodbye out here in the daylight. We'll have to uh, back to the, in the car, or on the porch, or. Garage, or something. Yeah. Something that has light. Yeah. Bummer times, man. They are coming. But yeah. <laughs> coming quick. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's a good day at work. Very spider day today. No BMW, thankfully. Well, I don't mind the BMW. It's just when it's some kind of weird <laughs> wiring yeah, thing. Yeah, some you gotta nightmare thing. Melt your brain over. But anyway, it's a good day. Mm -hmm. Hope you guys had a good day as well. But on that, we're going to slip on out. Alrighty, well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And you guys have an amazing Thursday or Friday. Thank you. All right. Thursday tomorrow. I know it. Clicking away. <laughs> All right. We'll see, see you guys morning. then. Bye-bye now.